Yo, what's up guys? So today we're going to be taking a look at some new cards coming out in a Blazing Vortex and Ancient Warriors are getting what should be one of their most powerful cards, which is Lu Bu or Lu Feng as some people know him. But anyways, yeah, coming out in Blazing Vortex, hopefully they'll actually be good with this card. Next up, we have some support for some waters that are supposed to be all about banishing, which technically penguins do. I'm not sure where this card will actually go into what type of archetype, but anyways, let's go ahead and hop right into it. So over here in the notes over here, it says Lu Bu is here, but I was like, what the heck, Lu Feng? I did some research over here. I guess his curtsy name is Feng Zhen over here. Well, if you guys don't know, Lu Bu is usually pretty OP in any of these Eastern games. He's always like really, really, really strong. So hopefully this will make ancient warriors uh, really powerful. But again, I'm not your history teacher, but I just thought that was an interesting thing that they just didn't put Lu Bu on the card. Maybe, I don't know, copyright or right, his name. Anyways. Ancient Warriors Rebellious Lu Feng is the monster's name. It is a level 8 Dark Beast Warrior Special Summon Effect monster. And it's 2800 attack, 2200 defense points. It says that it cannot be normal summoned or set. It must be special summoned from your hand by controlling the monsters that has the highest attack among the Ancient Warriors monsters on the field. It says that you can only special summon Ancient Warriors Rebellious Lu Feng once per turn this way. The first effect is, once per main phase, as a quick effect, you can destroy the monster your opponent controls that has the highest attack your choice if tied. You cannot activate monster effects during the turn you activate this effect except Ancient Warriors monsters effects. That's actually a huge downside. The uh, second effect is once per turn during the end phase, if your opponent controls the monster or monsters on the field that has the highest attack, give control of this card to your opponent. Is that actually a good thing to give control over? I guess you're supposed to just pop it, but uh, I guess they're also like, okay, you have the highest monster, you can have this. Um, yeah, obviously giving them a, a free card is never good in Yu-Gi-Oh, but there are sometimes alternate strategies to some random plays over there with Yu-Gi-Oh. I, I was really hoping to see a super OP card coming out for Ancient Warriors, as this archetype has really not been doing so hot recently. If anyone knows of a cool combo that makes this OP, definitely let me know, because I just see this and I'm like, at first glance, Lubu is here. I, I, he doesn't seem like he's going to be staying for very long. I mean, especially this effect. Uh, give it to your opponent. I don't know. Again, you're probably not going to give it to your opponent in that aspect. But anyways, next up, this is the yellow Gunard Duan Nigis over here. Uh, anyways, here is the artwork on this card. It is going to be a water level three, and it is going to be a sea serpent effect monster. So at first I was like, okay, it's got to be some Atlantean or Mermel support, right? Uh, anyways, 1500 attacks, 700 defense. You can only use each effect of the first, second, and third effects of this card's name once per turn. So the first effect is, if this card is special summon, you can banish cards from the top of your opponent's deck equal to the number of water monsters you currently control. So if you potentially get a bunch of monsters, that would obviously include the links, you could potentially banish a bunch of cards, which can be nice. And the second effect is, you can target one level four or lower water monster you control, increase its level by its original level so basically doubling it uh, and then the third effect uh, you get to banish this card from your graveyard to make one water monster you control gain 100 attack for each monster currently banished until the end of this turn uh, I don't know how I feel about this card like I was really hoping to see a more powerful effect but some people might be able to make use out of it I was also really hoping um, that, that it's it would be like a tuner, so we can go ahead and use it for synchro plays over there. But I guess you can still technically use it for like seed plays as well. Um, but let me know, guys, how you feel about this. What deck is this supposed to even go in? Is it supposed to be in like uh, Mermel Atlanteans? Is it supposed to be in Penguins? Is it for Modern Cess? Like, I just don't know where it kind of falls under in terms of like where it's supposed to be in the Yu Gi Oh archetype. But, anyways, guys, that's it for the new Yu Gi Oh cards. Let me know your thoughts on them down below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like on it. And if you are new here, make sure you guys are subscribed with that bell notification on if you guys want to see some gameplay uh, maybe some of these cards in the future once they get some better support because lupu i'm really disappointed i really felt like you were going to be good uh at least again with the name maybe lupu will come out later this is just like the the uh younger version of him but uh i was hoping he'd be a lot more powerful but that's just my thoughts anyways take care guys and i'll catch you in the next video and i'm out peace